Okay, hello again. Welcome back to Pioneer. Today we're going to start off with some good news. Um, a new version has been released. So, now, some of the things that were broken in the past version that I've been kind of harping on the last couple videos, um, well, they're fixed, which is great. Right? The big one, of course, is combat. It works properly now. That's great. I mean, uh, it's also not so great because it works properly now. The combat bug not only affected our weapons, but also the weapons of enemies. So, they had just as hard a time uh, hitting us as we had hitting them. But now, with everything fixed, now they're going to have a better time, <laughs> a better chance of hitting us. Uh, then we will likely have a hitting them. I mean, we can't really hit them with anything on the Mola Mola anyways. This ship doesn't have any weapons! So, uh, we're not gonna worry about it just yet. But, uh, depending on how well things go in today's video, we might try that sooner rather than later. I mean, we did just buy this Mola Mola, but if, uh, if we can get a good deal on some combat ships on a wave, then yeah, we might think about it. Might think about it. Cause at the moment, you know, our combat rating is still harmless, and that prevents us from taking certain missions. But anyways, anyways, today we're gonna do some trading. Some trading, because we got the Mola Mola, big old trade ship, and we're still in Gata. Right? Uh, the system we were delivering farm machinery to. In Dimitri's grave. This is Port Matthew. Matthew? I should look up how to say that. Uh, and uh, we are going to do some commodity trading. So I, I've been scouting around, and one of the things I figured out was we fill our hold with gas before we buy our commodities it gives us a better idea of how much gas we need when we have a full tank of commodities, a full hold of commodities. So, this port is a major exporter of computers, even though they only have 142. All right, we could drain this in, in uh, two or three runs. And they are a minor exporter of consumer goods and a major exporter of grain. Grain, of course, they got a lot of that. Minor exporter of liquor, not so much liquor. And plastics, but plastics are kind of cheap. And what I've kind of found while looking at commodities here is that the more profitable a particular commodity is, the less stock the station is going to have, right? So like liquor, computers, the higher the base price, usually the better the profit. So yeah, it's, we can, we can get rid of the, we can empty the station pretty quickly. But anyways, uh, I've done some scouting ahead of time. And today, we're going to go to a station called Gazcan. When we look at this, the uh, analysis on the sector screen, it doesn't say anything about computers. And, you know, we can't really see the... Let's see, where is the... There it is. Martin's Misery Wallace Base. We can't really see the economy info from, you know, from uh, outside of the system. So we have to jump in and check. So I scouted ahead, jumped in and checked. And uh, Wallace Base here is a major importer of computers. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy computers, go to Gazcan, and then sell them. So let's check our route. We need six tons of fuel to make the jumps. And we only, it's only going to take uh, about two days. That's pretty nice. 
So, let's sell this fuel back. Get the amount we need. And then stock up on computers. And we're ready to go. Let's leave this port behind. Now, originally, what I was thinking of doing was using computers and then importing farm machinery because the system still needs a lot of farm machinery, even though the prices have gone down. Uh, the problem is that it's only a minor import, so depending on where we buy, we could lose money doing this import. I found one station that uh, was ex importing computers and exporting farm machinery, but the farm machinery sold for 90 credits. We could only sell the farm machinery for 80 some odd credits, so we'd lose two credits per ton that we brought back. and. Not a great deal. Oh. And here's the cops in Mex. Goodbye. How many jumps do we have left? Just two more jumps. Go forth. Well, this would be a good system to scoop from. Gas can. <laughs> Such a silly name. Silly name. So Gas can imports Gas can Wallace Base in Gas can imports these computers. I will pause and take a look at the system overview. See now we can check out the economy information. Right, major imports. Great. Why can't we see that from the station, from the, the previous system? Okay, let's... Oops, that's the wrong direction. Is it now? I don't know. Let's accelerate. Now, I, I know what was happening. These lines were moving in a way that made it look like they were moving in the opposite direction. That's a nice uh, illusion. But anyways, Wallace is a little far. Not terribly far. But it's farther than some of our other stops have been. No, we've already used that much gas. Did I remember to gas up at Matthew? I don't remember. I might have forgotten to get gas. Oops. But that's okay. Now we just kind of coast. Before we coast, let's check our approach. Well, this misery is a nice small thing, so it shouldn't be too hard to get to. Wallace. The nice thing about these tiny moons is that they're pretty easy to fly towards, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, flying over the horizon. Like we did with uh, the last port in Gata. We can just break, and that should do it for most in most cases. So let's glide in. Probably could have sped up a little bit more.
it's always good to leave some extra gas for emergencies. Okay, breaking time. So what I hope has happened during our travel time here is that some other station has entered a profitable uh, state. Station, I should say, system has entered a profitable si state. Quite like a getup. There are different kinds of states that a system can enter. Some of them have commodities for cheap. Some of them well, they want commodities, so they'll buy for nice prices. And neither could happen, um, right? We won't know until we get to a station. There could be nothing there, you know? It's a crapshoot. Gaz can D, the parent of uh, the moon we're going to. Can't quite see it yet. Man, it's still pretty small. So we'll just sit on the brakes for a little bit more. mistake the roll buttons for uh, the sideways thrusters. I should be more careful. I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse. I see there I did it again. Uh, I'm sure the right people... Oh, there's the moon, I think. We can see it. Yep. I'm sure more serious people will say, oh, well, you should play with a, a flight stick. Which would be fun, probably. I mean, that's another huge <laughs> uh, learning curve. But I really don't have room for a flight stick. So, keyboard and mouse it is. You can use a controller, too, apparently. I use the controller to fly around in Elite Dangerous, so... I suppose it's not terribly difficult to do it in Pioneer, but I haven't tried yet. Because honestly, the keyboard and mouse are working just fine. Ooh, probably slowed down a bit much here. That's a good place. So we'll just kind of keep it here. I mean, these small moons are really easy to approach anyway, so it's not it's not terrible. So we don't want to overshoot. Undershooting is not great either. But this one shouldn't be too hard. Look at all those hyperspace, hyperspace departures. are leaving this place like nobody's business. Okay. Let's bring our marker down. Oh. 
States probably doesn't have a whole lot of gravity to it, so we don't have to worry about smashing into the planet. I mean, we still need to, to watch our speed, of course. Once we hit 10 kilometers, we will request permission to dock. That's not clipping into the mountainside. Let's go ahead and swap to cruise mode. Gravity is 0 0.04, yeah, okay. Not a problem. Sometimes the pads have clipped into the side of the mountain, which is not good, but yeah. It's still neat to, to land here. I like this. I look at all these buildings and they're all built into the side of the mountain. I like it. So let us sell our computers. Right? This is only has a demand of 121. So it's not not gonna last a whole long, long time. Twenty one. I think we bought them for seventeen thousand credits. So yeah, that's okay. That's profit at least. So we'll gas up. And let's see what's on the board. Wow, that's that's actually pretty terrible. Delivery mission, or that old report from the Hohen system? Hmm. This is not good. Yeah, we don't need to service our engines just yet. Hmm. Well, but commodities. We've got some minor commodities. Good. And this is the only base in the system, too, so we can't do any end system trading. Well, that was a bust. Our processors are. Consumer goods are probably the best export we have. Small arms aren't bad either. But if we could fill up on consumer goods, we can probably take those somewhere to make a profit. Let's see. Consumer goods. See, this list Gazcan as export, uh, importing consumer goods. But Wallace lists those as a minor import, so that's not great. Consumer goods, no. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. This is never 
accurate. This is a terrible place to find accurate things. You know, it says they import or export consumer goods, so, but I don't even know if they actually do that or not. Oh, that's actually a little bit far, isn't it? Ah, <sighs> no, okay. That didn't go quite as planned. Uh, we made some money. Money is good. We need that. But, unfortunately, the, um... Port we were looking for did not happen, so I will find something else to do. But anyways, I wonder what kind of ships they have. Oh, they have a wave. That's kind of a psychedelic-looking wave. Of course, with a Tech Level One technology certificate, they don't really have much to uh, <laughs> much to equip it with. So you don't have to worry about that. But anyways, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll find something else to do eventually. Uh, but for now, right, we'll see you all later. I suppose this is why everybody has left the, this, left the system. Not really a whole lot to do here. Okay, yeah, so, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.